Wednesday the 15th of January and we are heading to Agra. We've been looking forward to this, it's time for the Taj. We have a few kilometres to travel today but the weather isn't kind to us in this part of our journey. The rain meant we didn't get as many pixel vids as we would have liked. It held off for Chandaburi, the largest and deepest step well in the world, but after that not so good. Videos and still cameras cost you here. So where are we Kim? At the step well. And how many stories deep is it? Lots. 13. 13. How many steps are there? Uh, lots. Yeah, lots. 3,000 or something. Uh, there you go. Chandburi is 13 stories deep and has a staggering 3,500 steps, a bloody long way to get a bucket of water. It adjoins the Harshat Mata temple where my research tells me it was built in the 9th century and the original parts of the step well were built in the 8th century. So here we are wandering about and marvelling at how deep it was and how they might have built it. Doing, Kim? Hello, we're about to go look at some birds. See, what oh, is it? There's a step there. All right, let's see what happens. They should get a hat. Yep, the hat is yeah. evidence it's here. After we check into our hotel in Barrackpool, which has salty water coming from the tower, we have lunch and then head off to the UNESCO listed Kalido Ghana National Park, where we were to enjoy a leisurely rickshaw ride looking at birds and animals. 1,000 rupees for a video camera here, so we only took the still camera. And then the rain came. Our sightseeing was cut short. We did enjoy the time we had, even though our rickshaw driver was grumpy. We overnight in Barrackpore where we have a very competitive game of table tennis. Noah and I were superb. And in the morning we head off to Agra. En route we visit Fatarpur Sikri which was one of the magnificent fortified cities in the capital of the Mughal Empire from 1571 to 1585. Till they ran out of water. <laughs> And this is the only building in the whole complex where they have used cross in the making. When you look at the construction. That phone was like three yards in length, about two and a half yards in width. And it brought bad luck to that person. So when Shah Jahan, the builder of this phone, he sat on the phone. Finally arriving at the Taj Mahal. Good looking fella there, look at him, hey? Oh, 
some steps there. So this word Taj Mahal comes from the name Lady. Her original name was Arjuman Bhano Begum. She was born in 1593. Shaja was born in 1592. They had a difference of about eight months in the age. Shaja saw her at a marketplace and at first sight he fell in love with her. And later on he married her. She was not the first wife of Shah Jahan. She was the third wife of Shah Jahan. So when he married her, he gave her a new name, a name called Mumtaz Mahal. And what does this Mumtaz Mahal mean? M-U-M means chosen, Taj means crown, and Mahal means palace. Chosen crown of the palace, chosen lady of the palace, or the first lady of the palace. So from her name comes the name of this place, Taj Mahal, crown palace, although it's not a palace. It's a mausoleum, it's a tomb. We've made it to the Taj, we've got our special little booties on, to protect our shoes. Let's have a looky looky see, huh? And we've hit the Taj on not very good weather really. It's uh, been raining, it's now starting to sprinkle again. So uh, probably not as much video as we want to take here. The camera gear wet. So we've just been inside the Taj Mahal. Uh, you have to go through pretty quick. They don't let you hang around. There's no photography. Um, you can give them a, a tip if you want to. Yeah. Um, yeah, just went through. They hustle you through pretty quickly, but it's uh, worthwhile. It is worthwhile, very. Thank <laughs> you.